Is that deep enough? There, Ellie. Okay, hey, I need that for a minute. Put it in. Yeah, hold on. Okay, give it a test. Make sure the hole's big enough. Ready? Ugh. What do we think? Yeah, that's good. Is that good? Is it straight? Yep. Uh, it's not very straight. Hold on. Gotta get the dirt ready. So, let's put some... Okay. No, hang on. Put some fertilizer. Okay, look out please. It's gonna be dusty. Okay. Gotta mix it up. Okay, it's been a busy couple days. We finally got these apple trees planted. It took a bit of work because on our uh, lot, we have a lot of fill. Uh, we don't have very much topsoil. Uh, when we built our house, the ground was, was quite low, so we brought in quite a bit of fill. And it's not great for growing uh, anything in, except for weeds. Uh, so what I ended up doing was excavating a fairly large area filling it with topsoil for the two trees and then graded everything around it. Eventually we're gonna put uh, grass seed down. The varieties that we ended up choosing were the Honeycrisp apples and Goodland apples, one of each. Uh, they're spaced about 15, uh, 15 feet apart. They're semi-dwarf apples from my understanding. Uh, so the trees aren't going to get uh, extraordinarily large, uh, but they should be a good size. So let's take a, take a closer look at, uh, at what we did. Alright, so there's the edge of the garden. Still have to uh, 
<laughs> dig in that uh, that manure for the squash again excavated filled it full of topsoil this is the honeycrisp tree and then a ways away we have the good land apple tree this tree should get slightly larger than the the honeycrisp tree the only really thing to watch out for is these are all grafted trees so you want to make sure the graft point is slightly above surface I think the plastic sheets protect it from I'll give a little bit of protection from animals and that's about it fairly easy we did use when planting we did use the mic product the uh, the fun the fungi fungus that's supposed to encourage root growth I've used it in the past on uh, on other trees that we have planted and transplanted on our lot and they all we have not had one tree uh, not take yet so they all do quite well with that so should be fairly exciting the uh, we'll see if we get any apples this year I'm expecting the good land to uh, to produce this year uh, should be uh, we should get a few apples off that one and the honeycrisp is a bit small I don't I, I would be shocked if we got uh, if we had any apples this year from uh, from that tree but hopefully next year we'll see